I'm sorry, I have to speak English. That's the only language we can understand. So, uh, well, this is really huge. As you see, it's an airplane ticket, one-way ticket from Yerevan to Aleppo. This ticket was part of a multimedia event called Yerevan Crisis. The artists were performing their own uh, well, different situations concerning the crisis in Yerevan. But I took the ticket because that was my personal crisis, because I have to leave Yerevan and move to Syria and work and live here. This is the Center for Contemporary and Experimental Art, where I worked about two years. Uh, it was one of the biggest institutions in Armenia. I worked there as curator and archivist. Happy me, very self-confident me. I was a co-curator for Alternative Art Festival, the last event in Yerevan. And after this, I have moved to uh, Aleppo. Uh, I just want you not to take this negative. It's me in Aleppo, Aleppo in me, nothing negative. This is my first photo, the note, like this torture. This is what I noticed later, uh, but still happy me. I'm still happy in Aleppo. Um, I don't know uh, how you will catch all this. Uh, you know, sometimes we appear in a different, different uh, uh, environment, and well, it's not always 100% match. So this is uh, me trying to do a revolution emancipation with my bicycle. I was really happy until it was stolen. <laughs> my first serious job. After 20 days in Aleppo, I started working in a gallery called Le Pont. I was uh, coordinating a woman art festival here. I'm not only coordinating, but also doing the exposition. And still happy. <laughs> uh, this is uh, my solitude uh, isolated me. Uh, if you compare with the photo down in Yerevan, you, you can feel the mood, how the mood is really changed. Uh, this, is, this was the only gallery I found in the first, because uh, when you see galleries, actually a furniture store, but it was gallery, gallery. I started teaching history of Armenian culture and I, I'm always trying not to be separated from my students and it's obvious, you see, you can never see which one is the lecturer. I'm happy. I, I, I succeeded. And uh, another thing I was doing is work with autistic children. I'm an art therapist and autistic children really changed me a lot because I'm a little bit autistic myself and, you know, the discipline, they really can teach you how to be more organized and um, I'm really very happy when I work with these children. One of those days after working with them, I found this painting, one of my autistic kids, uh, and have you noticed the footprint on it? It was right on the floor with this footprint, so it's very conceptual how the autistic children are somehow uh, mis- well, how to say, ignored. This event is with not autistic, but normal kids in the church, and I wanted them to be, uh, to get rid of those religious things. I want to feel the freedom, abstract freedom. Though I can say that I've succeeded, but this is one of them, these kids. It was a 10 years old boy who had just lost his father, and he said, This is how I imagine the world. I want to live in this kind of colorful world. Ten years old boy, imagine. Then, next, yeah. Then I started working in, a, uh, in an institute or it was a school called ACAD. This is, I have done something extraordinary here. During four months I have, I taught the whole course of art history. Imagine, starting from cave art until postmodernism. I don't, I don't think that pluralism is it's a good thing when you, when you start study something seriously, but I did it. Very often I compare these two windows. This one is Aleppo, this one is my, from my apartment in Yerevan. Uh, one is really very close and another very free. Uh, again, uh, a little bit depressed maybe. Uh, I, I shoot this in a supermarket. Maybe I find 
something common with these naked models. I don't know. Uh, well, I very often I feel myself very uh, fragile, empty, uh, in other body. But really, this sense gives me some power. Some, uh, some even I use my fragility as a power. Uh, this is again one of those photos, solitude. Again from my window. So I find a way to recharge, recharge myself. Every summer I go to Armenia where I work with animation film festival and I'm in charge of junior jury and I'm in press selection comedy. So this is one of those very happy moments I've worked with kids discussing which movie is going to win. So as a conclusion, this is the first time I'm showing my own art pieces, but I don't think this is art, but maybe as an art therapist, I, I've tried to use my method on me myself. This is done with the influence of American trumpet player Miles Davis. It's called Blue in Green. I wanted to cover those black lines, but black always remained black. This was done after the, with the influence of Pina Bausch. This is German choreographer, uh, and this is the pain, the common pain I feel with Pina Bausch. Uh, the, wound, the wounded Pina. And this is the last piece of me, uh, the TUMO, Center for Creative Technologies. This is the institute I'm going to work after one month, and I'm not even ready for this because after four years spending in Syria, I'm going to work in this very cold building, very systemized way, so I'm leaving a piece of me in Syria. Thank you.